Hey Vinyl Community, how are you doing today? Good to see each and every one of you. Today I am doing some fun stuff differently. We're talking about Paul McCartney and Wings. Yes, so you can see behind me I've got a actually a quite big promotional poster behind me of Paul McCartney and Wings. And it is uh, 42, see I wrote it down because I know I'd forget. <laughs> the width of it is 42 inches and the height is 44 long. And I bought that back in 79 at the record store that I went to when Paul's album came out. So this does have a lot of sentimental value for me because uh, it was really cool. really liked it. And uh, the guy saved it for me, which is really nice of him. But it's a... It's a big promotional poster, quite rare and uh, quite pricey, but fun to have. I've got it rolled up. I have nowhere to put it, but I kept it out for you to see. All right, so are you ready to see some back to the egg stuff? This is just expand your mind. Instead of the album, which we have, um, I've got other stuff besides just the album, but we will do a lot. So here we go. This is... The album itself, sorry about the glare, I kept my plastic on. This is the Paul McCartney album. And this is just the American pressing of the album. So, take the plastic off. As if that wasn't exciting enough. American pressing again. And I do have a bad glare, I wonder why. I wonder what that is the back and there is your lineup of the songs this was a rocking fantastic Paul McCartney album oh my goodness what an album that was underrated it was promoted pretty heavily though and there was a lot to this album I always like the uh, album the way they did this it was this, this is the first side so let's the egg in it, and then sunny side up. And I just thought that was great the way they did that. And this is the inside piece. I don't know if you can hold this up wrong, but hold it up like that. That's kind of neat. So that's the album, which is really cool. But Beetle Brad is going to show you some different stuff just to be making you think of what else you could collect for Back to the Egg because there is a lot out there and I don't and this this one Good Night Tonight great great song and this was all during the disco period that's for sure but this is a great great song really really liked it a lot the record this was just their song itself like that uh, good night tonight very nice really cool to have I'm gonna side that back um, then here is a big another poster of back to the egg which is kind of neat that is quite a good size so I can back up so you can see, um, like I said, wow, I got a lot of glare. So sorry about the glare. But that's a good size poster there of Paul McCartney, promotional poster. And this is back before, a lot of times before you could do video, but this is when Paul was doing Spin It On. I took a picture of it when he was on TV, and that was kind of, that's kind of just a sentimental Kind of a fun picture when Paul, this is out of my Beatles scrapbook, and I'm showing this. So that's kind of neat, kind of fun to show. And this is the CD of Back to the Egg, British, UK CD. Then Paul McCartney put out a whole entire DVD, and that's what this is, a DVD... And I've transferred it. It was VHS. 
but this was the cover to it that I that I made it back to the egg and this is the whole entire almost the whole entire video um, uh, back to the egg of, of all the promotional videos and that's really cool because it has a lot of videos uh, arrow through me spin it on um, again and again and Rockestra, uh, Good Night Tonight. It's, it's just fantastic. I think Paul definitely needs to release this when he does Back to the Egg, when he does his uh, remixing of the albums. But I don't know if that's going to come about. He, he may be done doing that. So I'm not too sure if he's going to do that or not. They, might, they may not even surface again, but it would be great if it did. Then this is a newspaper advertisement out of my, let's see, get that glare out, out of my scrapbook. This is uh, Back to the Egg. It was a, out of my Beatles scrapbook. Because I, everybody has a scrapbook, don't they, of the Beatles? Come on. <laughs> I thought everybody had one. Uh, yeah, so I've got a Beatles scrapbook and solo scrapbooks and all that kind of stuff. Next up is a Back to the Egg. This is a stand-up promotional thing, which is a, uh, for like a record store to stand up and to advertise Back to the Egg as well. Paul McCartney. And next up is out of this Beatle book. is a terrific picture of Paul. Back to the Egg there. He's... Showing it and promoting it. Yeah, that's an article about that. I had, to, I had to stand up to show that, but that's kind of neat. Another great picture of Paul and Linda there as well. Really cool. And this is really neat. This is a Back to the Egg book. And this is a music book. But this is really cool. This has got some neat stuff inside. Great pictures. Uh, here we go. This is a good one. Anyway, I like that. I like that one a lot. Like I said, and it's got music, so you can play along. So see, I show you. This is here's another great picture. That's a, that's a great video also, uh, again, again, and again, and again, and again. This is kind of uh, not real, real rare, but it's it's a little tricky to find. But this is neat because it's got all the pictures. That's the, the video here to the left of the um, airplane hanger. Let's spin it on for the video. That's really cool. Uh, great video. Another terrific shot of Paul. Paul McCartney. <laughs> this, like I said, this is just full of all kinds of great pictures. Uh, not only is it just for the music, as you can see, it's got all the music in there, but it's got all these great pictures. And I just, I just kind of enjoy showing them to you. I hope you're not too bored watching this. There's that picture, which recently, um, Paul McCartney's album, he did Kisses on the Bottom, and this was redone, this, this song, uh, Baby's Request, uh, was redone uh, for the 45, well, CD, and 45, of uh, baby's request which was kind of cool and he redid it remixed it and it's really cool really neat like it so it's, then this is the end picture and then these are paul mccartney postcards that you can pull out and sing, send to your friends and stuff like that no none of you are getting my postcards so don't even write into beetle brad and ask for beetle postcards or paul mccartney postcards so they got wings on the back in the back there. All right, poster time again. This is huge. I don't know how I'm going to show this, but this is another uh, big, big poster. Paul McCartney. 
And this is also back to the egg. Uh, wings, here you go, look at that. Nothing better. Yeah, there we go, wings. Okay, I'm trying to show you this the best I can. Very big poster. There's that picture over here again of spin it on. Like I was telling you, down here where the uh, wing, the airplane and the hangar. So there we go. There's another big Paul McCartney poster. Then we're into the Paul McCartney Back to the Egg Club sandwich. That's pretty cool. Denny Lane. Linda. And the rest of the whole Hee Haw gang. Let's see. I don't know how much of this I'll show because there's there's a lot of lot of pictures in here of Paul uh, during the whole time of Good Night Tonight and Paul McCartney Back to the Egg. Lots of stuff in this one. I apologize if the video is too long. I really am sorry. I usually try to keep my videos somewhat short for everybody because I know there's everybody's got a lot of stuff to do instead of sitting watching Beetle Brad's videos. But this one will be an exception to my videos and will be a little bit longer than normal. So, so sorry, Uncle Albert. But yeah, it'll be a little bit longer. But anyway, great, great stuff. Um, just other pictures. This is a good one as well. I I enjoyed just showing these. These are just fun. Great picture of Paul there. And let's see what other ones are going to show you. Here's this one. Another great, great picture. Isn't that cool? Yeah, like that. Club sandwiches were always terrific. Next up was this album. This is also has some of uh, coming up and during that album and McCartney too. But uh, this is Rock for Campuchia. And this has Paul McCartney. And this is a two record set. This is neat. So this is Rock for Campuchia and Paul did this. Uh, and it, this is a fantastic concert. Like I said, a two record, two record set. And I'll just, I'll just show you one of the records. That's what one of the records looked like. Sorry about the glare. Wow, unbelievable. And then back in '79, this came out, which was really cool. This is. A bootleg vinyl album of the same concert, Rock for Campuchia. But the only difference with this is, this is a two record set as well. But the cool thing about this one is, this album is nothing but Paul McCartney. So being a two album record set, the whole entire concert is Paul McCartney. And it is fantastic. Um, they have released it on CD, the bootleggers, so if you could find it, that might be kind of fun for you to get. Um, it's very, very good, so I recommend that. The uh, bootleg is on CD or the vinyl, and it is by far much better uh, than the Rock for Campuchia. Yeah, you get a lot of groups and a lot of musicians on that, but that's kind of neat. Next up is this Back to the Egg. It is a up around the other side it is a coaster so it's a coaster and then this came out on dvd a couple years back i highly recommend this this is tom snyder i remember when paul was on tom snyder's tv show and it's all during the whole time of uh, back to the egg and denny and lawrence jubler and Linda and Paul, and they do the video spinning on. 
So I highly recommend this. If you need to find a good DVD to watch, plus it's a two DVD set. So you get an interview with John Lennon, which is fantastic. I remember recording that when it originally came out. And also Ringo Starr is on this as well. So this is a must for any Beatle person who's really into it. But I'm showing it because of the back to the egg. Yep. And then out of this book is some more great Paul McCartney pictures. Back to the egg. I told you I had a lot of stuff to show, didn't I? I sure hope you got a drink and sitting back and watching. <laughs> Next up is my Japanese copy of Back to the Egg, which has a lot of glare, too. Thank you very much. <laughs> There's the back. There's the record. And here's the Japanese sheet for the back to the egg. Got some neat pictures in there as well, which is really cool. And the insert's the same as the American one. A little flimsier, but that's okay. It's still really cool. Next up is this, which is kind of neat. These are the uh, bubblegum cards. This is Paul McCartney. And some information there. These were only put out through the fan club. And at the time I belonged to the fan club. And so that's how I got those. Linda. There's Linda. Denny Lane, or just Denny, <laughs> kind of neat one. There's some information about Denny Lane. If you want, you can pause that on your own. Then next up is Steve. He was the drummer who took Joe English's place. At this time, Joe English was no longer with Wings. And this was Wings' last album as Wings. Lawrence Jubler. Did I not show the Steve? I showed the Steve one. Yeah, I did, but I know. Did I show the back? I don't think I did, but if I did, there you go. Double feature. <laughs> um, Joe English at that time has become a Christian. So he is a born again Christian and doing Christian music. So that's why he left Paul McCartney. But isn't that cool? This Paul and Linda show those two together. Cool. So like I said, so he's a born again Christian and that's why he's no longer with Paul at the time when for the Wings last album for uh, Back to the Egg. All right. And this is my very last one. Yay. Everybody's happy. Wake up. Wake up. Brad's done. <laughs> Peter Brad is done with his last one. This is my copy of Back to the Egg. And it is still sealed. Still in the original shrink wrap. Got my hype stickers and everything else. Still has it all. Like I said, there's the, the record and the backing. And, uh, yeah. Still on its original, original everything. So that's kind of cool, too. All right, well, I'm kind of going a different route today and showing Back to the Egg stuff, but I hope you enjoyed seeing my Paul McCartney Back to the Egg. Uh, maybe this is a chance for you to say, hey, you know, I haven't listened to that album in a while. So pull out your Back to the Egg album or CD and give it a listen because it is a fantastic album by Paul McCartney and Wings. So I'd love to uh, play an audio clip, but I can't. <laughs> don't want to get flagged. I have been recently, so don't want to get any more. But it's okay. Everything's good. So, all right, everybody. Wings. Paul McCartney and Wings. So this is Beetle Brad saying, take care, everybody. And I'll see you later. And I am out of here. See ya.